Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. A day after Jamaica recorded 403 COVID cases, the highest one-day total, Prime Minister Andrew Holness has announced new containment measures effective February 10 to February 24. The Prime Minister says the nightly curfew will now be 8 o'clock instead of 10 o'clock and public gathering limits will be 10 people instead of 15. In the meantime, in Manchester, where there were 81 new cases on Monday, the Manchester Health Service is urging residents to make use of free COVID-19 tests as it intensifies the fight against the coronavirus pandemic. Hospitals in the region are running out of space with only 42 beds available across Clarendon, Manchester and St. Elizabeth. And Education Minister Fabel Williams has rejected appeals to halt face-to-face -face learning. She says schools are governed by the standard COVID workplace policy. The three family members charged in connection with the June 2020 killing of 36-year-old Tamara Geddes in Reserve District, Trelawney, have pleaded guilty to conspiracy to murder. Tamara's sister, 39-year-old Nadine Geddes, and her daughters, 22-year-old Shanice Ruddock and 16-year-old Janae Smith, are to be sentenced soon. The alleged triggerman, Rexon Knott, did not enter a plea because he did not have legal representation. In sports, former National Senior Men's Football Team assistant coach Bradley Stewart says the cease and desist order placed on the Reggae Boys training camp has further dented the ambitions of local players with aspirations to join the national team. In your current trading today, it was costing $149.95 for one US dollar, the British pound sterling for $210.54, and the Canadian dollar for $117.80. In your weather forecast, Wednesday morning will be partly cloudy. In the afternoon, there will be isolated showers across western parishes, otherwise, it will be partly cloudy. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.